Sasha and Miles. Welcome to another episode of Stand Up and Self Care, and this episode we are going for a walk. A walk might seem like a simple thing, but according to the internet, it's a hot girl walk season, so I want to be involved in that. And also, according to Harvard, good for your joints, and they boost immune function. But according to this book, it goes even further, and they protect against anxiety and depression. So, I mean, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to take one of my favorite comedians on a walk. Let's go. Hi, I'm Celeste Lampa. I'm a stand-up comedian. And do you know why you're here today? Mental health. Talk to talk about mental health. Um, how do you feel about your mental health specifically? Um, I question it a lot. If you had to rate it on a scale of one to ten, where would you land? Seven and a half. Seven point five. Watch out, guys. We have a happy camper on our hands. But honestly, hashtag goals. Is it? So do you think that everybody should always be striving to hit, like, a 10 marker? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I didn't think, honestly, I thought that I was a 10, like, my whole life. I thought I didn't have any issues. And now that I'm a bit older, I look back and I'm like, oh, I've been a 5. That's a 5 mentally, but a 10 visually. For a long time. So you think your perspective on mental health has changed as you got older? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How would you say mental health would rate importance in your life? Uh, I, I'd say that I should put it first. Uh, I try, but it's really hard when there's just so much stuff going on and just me, like just the way my brain works. Oh, and we're going to have to take a brief pause to let this cat versus dog fight happen because mental health matters for animals too. And sometimes they just need to face their feelings. So what do you do right now to try to improve your mental health? Um, I know sleep is really important uh, for mental health. So I've been trying to get like better sleep. And to get better sleep, I've been listening to a lot of uh, sound frequencies. Just trying to uh, channel a better vibration so that I get a deeper sleep, if that makes sense. So I recently did a sound bath and that was uh, to just kind of clear and like unblock everything that's kind of blocking your, (laughs) this is so cheesy, but chakras. So um, yeah, just listening to frequencies to get better sleep has been helpful. And also listening to frequencies for focus while I'm doing my day job, it's been helpful. Cool. I've noticed a little bit of a difference. We're going on a walk today. Okay. I'm not going to ask you if you've ever gone for a walk because <laughs> I assume you have gone for a walk before. Yeah. Do you have any reservations about going for a walk? No, not at all. I walk my dog every day. Yeah, and it's the best. I think it's like one of my, uh, the, the thing that I look forward to most in my day is going for my walks with my dog. Oh, so you're familiar with walking? Yes, definitely. <laughs> My parents were so excited when I <laughs> took my first step. It was a big deal. So. <laughs> Walking's very important. Thank God both my legs work. Yeah, I just want to say, like, my whole life, I've had horrible sleep sleep patterns. Like, even as a kid, going to bed at night, I would, I don't even know, but it is a form of anxiety if you cannot get to sleep, right? So I think I've suffered from that, like, my whole life not getting good sleep and just recently getting better sleep and it's been very helpful. As you said you were a stand-up comic, Mm -hmm. so how do you think mental health plays into your job as a comedian? I guess I actually find that my mental health, like it not being as healthy, might be contributing to me being a stand-up, right? Uh, It kind of like works together because like we come up with like the most insane jokes I do feel better after I have a set or do a set even if it's a bad set I still feel better that I did it I'm excited to go for this walk and it's just it very important everybody needs to check themselves you know uh, in one way or the other and it's important because it's your brain it it what makes you it's the thing that gets you walking <laughs> right like it's just it's your brain, it's an organ, it's 
no different than having like stomach issues or heart issues. Like it's, it's a big deal. Do you find that Uma normally walks you when you go on walks? Um, it depends. When I'm on a mission and I need to get my 20 minutes in, I kind of just like guide her and like keep her on a shorter leash. But like right now she's in a new place and she's kind of like, what is this? There's so many different smells. So I think she might walk us. And but that's, that's okay. That's fine. Okay? It's, I think it's always good in a walk to have a leader. Yeah, she's she'll be our leader today. When I'm walking myself, there's usually an outer presence walking me. <laughs> no, it's kidding. I'm usually just late, and so that's oh, yeah, what gets me where I need to go. Okay. I, well, I guess I walk every day, as you know, because uh, my two legs are my vehicle. The which... best vehicle to have, I think. <laughs> yeah, um, it does get a little bit. I took two rib axis at full disclosure, everyone, before I went on this walk. Um, I do understand why the vloggers are self-conscious because we're in my neighborhood and everyone's looking at me. And I'm like, you knew that I was a local celeb. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> I'm feeling like you just brought up the property value. So yeah, like they, they just didn't. Relax. They didn't know, but it's cool. There are a lot of dogs and cats. That's Cat Alley. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Every house has a cat that sits out front oh and they God, have meetings so i've seen them have meetings a neighborhood like this would do that my neighborhood would never i love this neighborhood yeah this is a nice area uh, it's a great place to go for a walk honestly so um i picked going for a walk because movement's really important mm -hmm. really accessible thing for most people obviously not for everyone but it is for most people it's like a really easy thing to just Get some steps in. Yeah. And, enjoy and you the day. live in a, that's why I love neighborhoods like this, just because, um, like, if you have to get something, you can walk and get it, right? Like, if you live yeah. in the suburbs, you really do have to drive to go to, like, the closest plaza, which is kind of inconvenient. But it's kind of an interesting point because if you live, like, in a more suburban area, yeah, it's probably, if you're going for a walk, that is in, like intentional. Like you set an intention yes, yeah. to go for a walk. Yeah. Where here, maybe if you're even just wanting to go get a coffee, there's a few coffee shops around here. You might just be like, well, I'll just walk there because it's probably a better walk. Yeah, I agree. I, I like, I do like the trails yeah. that I have in my neighborhood. Um, a lot of them, I don't even know if that's healthy though, because like the trails that we have have like the power lines running through the whole trail like you're there's a trail and then it's a power line right like the big power line so i'm like you're oh, like this is this trail here for me or, or <laughs> like really because it's just like what am i absorbing right now definitely something not good like radiation i don't even know what those power lines give off apparently if you live by a power line um your chances of leukemia go up by 10 percent we cannot validate this as fact, hence the apparently. Please do your own research. Isn't that crazy? I feel like ignorance is bliss, and I don't even know really what a power line is. <laughs> so I think it's like really good. Like, like I think these are phone lines, like these, but I, I think they're power lines too. But the big, big power lines. Those this big, is what like, she's talking about. Yeah, those lines up here. I don't want to know what they are. I don't want to know. I don't want to <laughs> know how my house gets powered. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I think something about Enbridge. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I walk all the time. I guess I never really thought about it, improving my mental health. But it is like when it is a nice day and I've done a lot of walking, I do feel like better. Yeah, me too. Like I said, I, I look forward to my walks with Uma. Like it's the one thing that if I don't get it done um, during that day, like I feel I go to bed and I feel like something's missing. And uh, it's it's more for me, not so much for Uma, because she's a small dog. She doesn't really, really, like, dogs always need a walk, but she's smaller and she doesn't need that walk. Yeah. But it's more for me. I just feel better after my walks. Well, I think that it is one of those things that they tell you, like, to try and get a 20-minute walk in every day. Because mm -hmm. um, it's really good for your cortisol levels. Yeah. Um, it helps keep them low 
okay. which is ideal. Uh, and it's, again, like, it's not something that you need to be, it doesn't take much effort. It, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, Although, in Edmonton winter, um, it definitely does. I did look up uh, paces, like, for a good, like, exercise, what pace you got to be at. And they say, like, 9 to 15, um, what is it, 9, nine to 15 minutes per kilometer. Yo, is... speaking of that, we're not even recording this for my Fitbit. Fitbit check. If this isn't an exercise on my Fitbit, it didn't even happen. <laughs> I know, that's what I feel like. <laughs> I was like, speaking of pace, I, walk away I don't even know what pace we're at right now. <laughs> yeah, so they're saying 9 to 15 uh, minutes per kilometer is like a good, good exercise. It's good for your heart rate. And then I, I try to maintain that speed. Yeah. Um, but sometimes it's hard with Uma because like she'll stop and yeah I think another reason why I wanted to take you on a walk is because mm -hmm. um I wanted to see Uma no <laughs> 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 no I think we t like you and I always talk about mental health I feel like we do yes like, you're one person that I can talk to um and not feel like there's something wrong with me when I talk to you about mental health because you understand like you yeah you're an advocate for for this part of like wellness and um appreciate that well thank you i feel the same about you i also think like uh i've been thinking a lot about our role as comedians mm -hmm. and like obviously we make people laugh but i think sometimes <clears throat> sometimes we, things we don't aren't... take care of yeah. ourselves yeah and people don't really like think about that part of it when you know they're on the outside of it so i kind of wanted to like illuminate that a little bit okay yeah that's fair that you know the people that are often entertaining you you know there's a cost to that sometimes absolutely yeah um and so it's really important sometimes for us to take care obviously of each other and uh, as like a community i think too yeah i agree um, and so i've that's why i've been trying to hang out with other comics and like even though this is really funny and like i'm trying to do this is like an accessible way so it's not like super serious, go for it. <laughs> but it's also like maybe comics can think about how they're using, utilizing their time to take care of themselves. Yeah, that's totally fair. But, and I, I, I know that like, you know, there's so many different types of people in comedy. And like the one thing that does bring us together is like the stand up portion, but we're all so different. Yeah, and um, it's just the range of people and types. Um, like you might find a comic that's super hilarious, and you think has their um, stuff together. Like that, you don't. It's not anything new. This is true in any group. Like everybody has their own stuff going on. Yes. You have a stranger on the street. I got a pooper. Oh, you got a good poop. Oh, that was the quickest girl. Oh, Can't relate. A big one. <laughs> cannot relate, cannot to, me that relate quick. to the she's regular i think she, maybe she really has an experience trauma um, Ooh, Uma? yeah that was the quickest move of my life i'm sitting on the toilet i didn't even know that <laughs> for a while you know and it... <laughs> anyways all this to say i see people upset or i mean i guess in public or you see people really happy in public like mm -hmm. who even knows what, what they're going about? through yeah yeah, yeah. any group of people about, yeah. yeah totally because it's but it's i think it's especially very notable in comedy in comedy because, because we're we all experience some sort of i don't want to say call it trauma just some something that brought us into to, it. into it and um to do something like that just because so many people like public speaking is a big one for a lot of people like they're so afraid of it's the number one fear that yeah. people have yeah when i first started doing stand up i was like yay i'm like i'm i'm figuring this out like i feel good about it and then i don't know where i read it but i came across um something where it's just like comedians suffer from depression and period done yes like uh, and i i didn't really resonate with that because i'm like i'm not an unhappy person like i find that i am a you know and then just while 
just as years went by, uh, I always had that in the back of my back of my mind. And I realized like, oh my God, we do suffer from, I do, I suffer from some sort of depression or I get these like low points in my life and I feel better when I do stand up. So I kind of realized that, yeah, stand up is a form of therapy for me. You know, I think for me, it's a good way for me to process things. Yeah. I Well, we also, we specifically make jokes about our life. So that's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's some people, some people just write jokes and that that's great and very funny. Yeah. So they might not get the same out of it. The same a, type a, of a, satisfaction a, a or mental health benefit yes. might not be to them. Yeah. But also the act maybe of writing jokes is really good for their mental health. Maybe. So you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a little bit different way of I guess looking at it yeah I also find it like being on stage was a bit of a release for me so I don't know if you feel the same yeah it totally is because like if I do a week without stand-up I feel like (laughs) I'm not good like I feel like I'm not at my optimal right um like I'm not utilizing my time I just don't feel good but like I'll go out and do a set and like I said before, if it, even if it's bad, I still feel better that I did it. Right. That's kind of like how I feel about exercise and movement, to be honest. Like, yeah. even just going for a walk sometimes, I tend to be more of a, a type of person that hibernates. Mm-hmm. So if I haven't gone for a walk in a couple of days, I'm like, I definitely notice it. Yeah. Walks are just so easy. They're free. Um listen to a podcast listen to a podcast you never like oh my thing is like how do you do you greet other people when you walk by them when you're on your walk oh that's a really good question so i have a a kind of a long-winded answer to that okay who's interested i'm from the maritimes where literally it's like you are the minority if you don't say hello okay like it's weird if you didn't okay like you're out of the pack but then when i moved here like no one does it and even in this neighborhood they're big nodders okay that's that's still a like uh, nod energy yeah but i'm (laughs) not yeah but yesterday you guys i was having an extremely good i would say a nine out of ten on the mental health scale Mm -hmm. for the day Mm -hmm. so i don't know what came over me the maritimer in me just jumped out and i was walking by this this couple i was like hi hi how are you they didn't know. They were like, hi. that probably made them they, feel they, so amazing. They literally were so shocked, and they were like, "Hi, beautiful day." And I was like, "Yeah." And I just kept walking. And it, you know what? It did make them feel good. Yeah. Did it make you feel good? I honestly, I felt like shook. Like I didn't know. Who, like I literally, <laughs> I a step that. later, I was like, "Who was that? What <laughs> happened? Who was a girl?" Like, but then I did feel good about it. Um, feels good. I like, I like acknowledging the person that I'm passing by. Like, and if I don't get anything, I'm like, it is what it is. But it's just, um, it's just like these extra little like boosts. It's almost like, you know, Super Mario. Um, and he's like getting the coins when he's like, you know, it's just like one of those things. It's just like, you're, you're just acknowledging another energy, right? Like in a good way, like with a smile, with a high, um, I get a lot of, I think maybe a big contributor to the smiles and highs are because of Uma too. Right. Um, cause I feel like, oh yeah, a dog, I don't really, a dog will change. Things. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, this dog has been it's, so beneficial. There was times when I had my dog that I was just like, I'm just here to let her poop and pee. Mm-hmm. And it's like, everyone wants to stop. And I'm like, I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> So having a dog, you know, can be a curse if you're trying to have a day alone, but um, it is nice. Like it does get connection for sure. Cause you yeah. Love a dog. I love a dog moment. Oh my God. Any dog, even if the dog's ugly, I'm like, it's okay. Yeah. I'm like it's, it's not your fault. I like the ugly dogs that they seem so cute. They're so ugly. They're like, oh, I'm yeah. endearing. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of the energy my mom had when I was born. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, like, I, I I, heard that they stopped doing newborn photos, and I think that's for the best. Why? Because at the hospital that I was born, they always did newborn photos. So, like, literally fresh off the 
off of the canal. Okay. Like they, just with everything on they you, would take a, They would take a picture of you. You're like, I've never seen light, and all of a sudden I'm getting flash photography. Like, this is crazy. Wow. Um, and they did that for a long time because Spears had the same kind of photos. So I think it was like a, maybe it was just a 90s kid thing. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. Like when I have that newborn photo, um, but I'm like, I was, I was clean. I think we were clean. Yeah. It was like but in I know the baby photos. room. So they don't, they don't. They, do no, I, no, I have friends they with did. kids and I was like, oh, they're like, no, that's Actually, not even an option. No, yeah. They didn't do that for Ruby and Apollo. Oh no, God. they stopped that. They stopped it. Okay. And I think that's for the best because, you know, it gave me a complex. I can close my eyes and see this photo and it, I, it haunts me. I look like an alien. Weird, which is is funny because I still have that photo. I should find it. Should find it, and you could do a little clip, or like just kind of yeah. If you find it, it. we'll insert here. Yeah. Yeah. If you were a cute baby, like if you looked cute, I feel bad for you. You peaked at the beginning, and then it just went down. I don't even want to know what you look like now. I'm kidding. I'm just all in jest. I'm really enjoying this walk with you. Me too. It's really nice to just get out, but it's like nice to do it with a friend. I normally do this by myself. Yeah, same here. I do call. Do you call people when you're on walks? Yes. Yeah, I have. Uh, I talk to my sister-in-law a lot, my or my sister. Um, and if I don't, I put on a podcast. Sometimes, like I'll turn on like a true crime one, motivational, more positive, something that's kind of general, just because. A true crime stuff on a walk where you're just trying to be happy and you're like, this is not doing it for me. Walking alone. Walking alone and then just like hear about like how a girl was on a walk and she got, <laughs> yeah. she got kidnapped and assaulted. It's like, no, that's not fun. It is so funny that you brought that up because like you and I often talk about true crime podcasts. Mm -hmm. But I do take breaks from listening to them as well. Yeah, I have to. Because I do find sometimes it will heighten my anxiety a little bit. But yeah. I do love, I love my Lester Holt. Like, I love my Dateline. Oh, yeah. Dateline's a good one. I love Cold Case Files. That that's, one's one oh, of my that's, favorites. And you know what? Cold Case Files is a really good one if you like to have a conclusion. Yes. And that's why I love it. Because it's just like, yeah, they got them. At the you end. Know you know, there, you know there's an ending. Yeah, there is. They don't post the ones that don't have an ending. So... I, I know it's a because I know some people hate that about true crime podcasts. Yeah, when there's no answer to like the like, whole like season or and series, it is, and that it's like, adds to the fear. Honestly, <laughs> oh, it does. You're like, uh, what? So like, <laughs> this person, yeah, out there? literally. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I try to listen to audiobooks now. That's my new. Oh, thing. that's a good one. And actually, it's kind of pertinent to the conversation I'm listening currently to. What happened to you? It's Oprah Ooh. and this doctor who I'll insert name here. Okay. Sorry to this man that I forgot. It's amazing. It's like how we need to, when anything happens, we should be, should always be asking like what happened to the person. Yes. That why, that's why they're act like to understand why they're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's helpful. <clears throat> and also just to be a bit more, um, to change your perspective instead of like judging right yeah it's more like oh what happened to you in your past that but it's also a good thing to do to yourself right too. yes so and not understanding maybe there's like a reason why you might respond a certain way to exactly certain things. yeah yeah i've been doing that a lot yeah Kinda so just looking at how i've been conditioned like just your behavioral patterns right. and like a lot of that is like conditioning like what you saw as a young child how you saw uh, either your parents or like even teachers, like how they would react, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of that, like, kind of you pick up on, and that's your way of of dealing with situations. And it's not always the best for you. It's just what you know and do. But like, you can switch that up if it's not serving you, if it's not doing you any good, right? Totally. In this book, they really talk about how early development is pivotal. Like. Oh, the first, yeah. like even first, even the first six months yeah, of a huge. baby um, is insane. Like what I just <laughs> listened to, which was a crazy sad, it made me six really months old, like <laughs> clinically insane at six yeah. months old. <laughs> yeah, little baby killer. Um, <laughs> but it was like an insane sad. It said that like kids who had like really early trauma. Mm -hmm. But then went on to live, like, maybe 12 years of, like, the most blissful state of life. Like, 
with all of the privilege and like happiness in the world right versus kids that had a great beginning of their life Mm -hmm. and maybe then had 12 years of like crappiest life the kid that had the the longer time in crappiest still was better off Oh my gosh! I I believe isn't that, that crazy? Yeah, yeah, that is that okay. Was a no, that said that. So <laughs> I'm not just this is just like my thoughts. <laughs> I just that really gave me something to think about. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. It's like uh, okay, well you've never been carried as a baby, clearly. Yeah, sad. Yeah. I often think about what happened to you, and then I think about. I should read that Being one. Being a comedian. I highly recommend it to anybody. If you are wanting to come on a walk, if you're watching this and you're like, I want to go for a walk. Mm-hmm. But you are like, I want to listen to something. Yeah, I'm going to download that. This audio that book is great. When I get to my car and listen to it on the way home. Wear sunglasses because you might cry a little. Oh, okay. The other day I was I need a good cry. I was thinking about that. I'm like, I just, I you, feel like I, more recently, I just need a cry. I felt like crying yesterday, actually. I'm very stressed out at work, and I don't normally cry over work, but it was just one of those things where I was like, and I wasn't going to go for my walk, right? and I did go for my walk, and I felt better, even though I was going to be back late, and like kind of uh, just going into a meeting, like fresh off the walk, I think was was a good idea, just because you need it. Like, I think if I went, didn't take my walk, went to the meeting, I'd be very frustrated and short but went for my walk and it was a good meeting yeah no it's a release it's kind of like when we're on stage it's yeah. the same kind of feeling where yeah. you're just like ah oh. and it's actually a better feeling because then if you bomb you feel kind of crappy this like you can't bomb walking no like, you cannot there's no walk. way of doing this strong oh my gosh that's so funny <laughs> like there's just like we cannot like i took i'm um, gonna we're gonna crush it every time um, i love how you um chose me for the walk it's like because you don't really know that i love walking i didn't know that about okay you. i'm learning yeah. it about you now yeah, no i really like look for like like i said i look forward to my walks I, I if i don't walk. do it i'm such a walk even if i because if i don't get a workout in it's at least i got my walks in right my did you know in. that it's like super in on tiktok what walking oh really they call it hot girl walk oh shoot and people like film themselves doing like a walk should be really into that yeah but I've been, I'm an OG, okay? I was actually going to start recording my walks and just having a little bit of commentary. Like, here I am on my walk. Well, you um, should. I really like, should. This is what the cool kids are doing. And now that I've done it once, yeah. and the neighborhood knows now, that you're we're just... going to take this stick out more. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I should get into it. Because I have a lot to say during my walks, too. And I have, like, I, I name my walks. Like, I name the trail that I'm going to go on. Like, my, like, pathway, like a coyote trail. Oh, really? Do you track them anywhere? Um, not really, but it's, like, I typically do coyote trail. I call it coyote trail because that's the trail that uh, I saw the coyote on when I got freaked out when I was with Puma. So that's why I call it coyote trail. But. Don't worry, guys. Puma's safe. (laughs) Yeah. I saved her. I'm a big bad coyote. There are a lot of coyotes around here at night. Oh, so really? So around close here? To the River Valley, they come up in the, if in the wee morning. If you're coming through at five a.m. Yeah, that's when they like to come out. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I haven't cried in a while. Oh, right. Okay. I utilize these walks. That's when I get my cries in. Oh yeah. 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 I cry almost every walk. Oh my I gosh. don't know if it's maybe from pain. Well, it's from some kind of pain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But no, like I just take that time to myself. Yeah. And yesterday I, there was one walk that I went on. Mm-hmm. So I went on, I, like I said, you guys, this is my vehicle. So um, there was one walk yesterday that I forgot my sunglasses oh, and it no. was embarrassing. And you were crying yeah. about the sunglasses. But I'm, I'm not like a Kim K crier. I'm a cute crier. So oh, it's, just like, it's just like nice <laughs> streaming. People probably thought it was sweat, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I cannot cry cute. I cannot, like, because when I cry, I feel it. And, like, just my face turns into that one emoticon where it's like, ah, like, oh, God. Yeah, the Kim K. Hideous. All cries are beautiful. I guess so. I feel, I feel better after, but I'm, I do not look good the next day after a good cry. Like, my, I have very sensitive eyes and, like, my eyes just puff up. Like, sometimes I can't even open my eyes. Yeah, when I'm having a deep cry, I definitely wake up with those, like, 
oh, it's puffy bad. eyes, you know, and yeah. you have to ice them in the morning, and you're like, this is embarrassing. Oh my god, coming up to the end of the walk. Mm -hmm. Do you? How are you feeling? Like, I feel so good. Do you this feel? Is, do you feel? And plus, the sun is out, and it's just the fresh air. Uh, it's a nice neighborhood. It's with you and Uma. I just feel good. Do you feel like this was, was very therapeutic, actually? Really? Mm -hmm. See you guys. Was. Do you think that any change in even your mood from the when you first got here to after the walk? Uh, yeah, because really, I didn't even know that we were going to be talking about mental health. Right. And like mental health is a subject that I want to talk about with everyone, like any chance I could get. And That's when you brought good. up the fact that we're talking mental health, I'm like, oh, my God, my number one favorite subject right. other than hot pot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was another thing I was going to do. We were just going to go to Hot Pot oh, as yeah. um, our mental health improver. Oh my gosh, big time. Which, honestly, for me, it's therapy. It's it therapy is for, me. for real. But, and people should do it, but I thought this was also really good. Yeah, no, this is great. I, don't, I couldn't find studies about <laughs> Hot Pot. Where's the study? <laughs> but there is a lot of knowledge surrounding the mental health and movement and how it's so important. Every Absolutely. day, moving your body, getting outside. Yeah. Getting sunlight, if you can't get sunlight, um, try to find alternatives. My mom got me one of those happy lamps. Okay. I try to do that. But also just like moving your body. So important. Yeah. Just getting your heart rate up, getting that fresh air in, getting your lungs going. Because um, your lungs just want to like produce, like they want to work, right? It's just like a car. If you don't drive a car, the car is going to, it's going to crap out on you if you like leave it in the garage forever because it's not like running its system right well i don't know what i don't know but sorry it's same okay. thing with legs legs if you're not if you don't get out walking you know uh i also your think... legs will crap out on you if you do not walk enough yes and i also think like if you can you really want to optimize the mood performance you really want to optimize the the self-improvement go for a walk with a friend because mm -hmm. connection is super important. I agree. And you know, not when you're walking with your friend, somebody watching, you're not being recorded. So you can talk about whatever you want. True. So if you want to talk yeah, about the neighborhood, <laughs> you can get to town, you know? <laughs> we're for, you know, our own benefit. We're not talking about what we normally would talk about. Yes, is, but this is still the, one of the best conversations that I've had. Just because, yeah, um, we haven't talked about Yellowstone once. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> but we won't bring it up for you guys. Controversy. Not this time around. There's too much drama and going there. I don't think it's. That's not good for our mental it's health. It's also right now. not a Talus show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think on that note, we can probably turn it off. Thanks, Celeste, okay, for joining. Thank you. Thanks, Uma. This is this is Uma. Uma Furman. How would you rate her mental health? Oh gosh. So when I got her reading done, like a intuitive reading, um, Uma was in the room and they said that this is Uma's first incarnation. So like at first I was like, oh, she's kind of dumb. But then she said, this is her first incarnation. I'm like, oh, she's just figuring out how to be in a actual like physical form. So Maybe people with mental health issues just are not old souls and they're new souls. Well, I guess taking what you just said, if this is her, if she's brand new, she's never had, are you saying that Uma's never had any trauma? Uh, probably today when I pulled her tail to get her out of the house <laughs> to come here. <laughs> <laughs> I am the cause. What do you do to improve your mental health currently? I eat all the treats. <laughs> Mommy gives me treats and I eat them all. Are you excited to go for a walk? Yes. Hey, um, do you have any reservations about going for a walk? 